हाय प्रयाग गुड आफ्टरनून हाय हिमाली कैन यू हेयर मी वेल यस यस इट्स परफेक्ट ऑल ओवर लेट मी नो व्हेन टू बिगिन yeah i think we can start in 2 minutes so that everybody can join yeah, no i will wait okay yeah perfect uh so brad we can start the session now okay all right um shall i share my screen yes yes i just made you the host okay perfect um may i know a little bit about the audience actually they all are in the muted mode so we'll have the question answer session uh, you know at the end no, of no, the uh, presentation okay. it's fine if you could tell me about the audience like uh who do we have uh so i can probably talk more about in that perspective yeah all um, we can say the perfect the total audience will be the associates only uh okay. so this yeah this webinar is totally for our associates okay okay so we can so proceed I in that way okay i'm sharing my screen sure let me know if you're able to see my screen yes we can okay good Can you see the presentation? Ah, uh, yes, Brad. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, so uh, first of all, welcome everyone um, to Catch Business School uh, presentation. Um, thank you, Mali, for organizing this. My name is Prayag. I'm the country manager for Catch Business School in India. I'm also the alumnus of Catch Business School, so I am in some situation to um, you know guide students and obviously all of our associates as well. uh regarding catch business school and its program so first of all what is catch business school uh before that i would like to give some information related to why it could be an attractive destination for um our indian students a lot of students actually do not want to study in france that's not your first choice the first choice is obviously uh, the english speaking countries but why france in my opinion is a better destination compared to any other destination is is because of few very very important reasons and i'm sure uh you would already know this so um the first reason is obviously rankings we have uh, around 25 french schools in top 100 financial times rankings that's uh, a very very uh, strong reason and important reason to promote france uh, number 2 uh, the stay back visa a lot of indian students think okay france is offering two years of stay back visa uk is also offering the same so why should i go to france i would rather go to us or uk or canada but a lot of people are not aware of the fact that you uh, france also offers up to 4 years of work permit which is called passport talent in english it's called passport talent visa this is only for people who have who are highly skilled and are applying for jobs in their own sector to make it very simple if you have studied international business at catch business school and you're applying for an international business job you would not be getting a 2 years visa rather you'd be getting a 4 years visa so please inform your students uh likewise uh apart from that every indian student who studies in france whether it's for masters or phd they get a 5 years of business visa so 5 plus 4 plus 2 it's like 11 years of visa possibilities for indian students i don't think there is any country that is offering all of this uh okay so now let's talk about catch business school catch business school is the largest french business school um it has 36 management programs 
I hope you can see the second slide as well, Panorama. If you're not able to see the slide, please let me know, Himali. So we have 36 yeah, we management able to see well. Perfect, thank you. So out of these 36 management programs, 22 programs are completely taught in English, which I'll show to you in a while. Now, we would be obviously pitching only English speaking programs to uh, international students, including Indian students. So we will talk about 22 master's programs. 15,000 uh, students study at KEDG at any point in time. So as, as I already mentioned, it's the largest. 23% are international students. And uh, you would be happy to know that India is the largest nationality at KEDG after the pandemic. Before the pandemic, India was the second largest after China. Now India is the largest nationality and we continue to remain the largest university for the past three years, and largest nationality for the past three years, and we would want to do so. So that doesn't mean we are the largest nationality at KEDGE. So we want to cut down on our number of students. We don't have a cap. We can recruit as many students as possible. And I'll tell you in a moment why. We have 172 permanent teachers, 50% are international. 277 partner universities, including IIM, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Indore, Lucknow, Kozikor. That means students would be studying along students of these universities when they study at Kedge. 650 full-time employees, 70,000 alumni, that also includes myself. Um, 2,000 pro acts per year. What is pro act? These are projects created by students for entrepreneurship every year. 80 startups created, so students at Kedge do not only have to find a job, they can also create a company of their own because we have one of the largest incubators at any business school in France, wherein students would not only be able to create their companies, they can also partner with 300 big companies like Amazon, Deloitte, KPMG, and at the same time, they would be able to raise funds for their startups as well. So you can see four to five million euro in investment. Two years back, an Indian student found a co-founder from Germany and created the company and was funded 500,000 euros in seed funding. So that's a possibility for all our students. Eight campuses, now we actually have 10, four in France, six outside France. In permanent campuses, you can see the third slide, small pictures of Bordeaux, Marseille, Paris, and Toulon. Bordeaux is famous for wine, hospitality, food, supply chain, uh, purchasing, these kind of programs. Uh, Marseille is more of a sea city. So you have programs like shipping, logistics, trade, international business. Uh, then there are some programs which are common. For example, MIM is at both the campuses. Um, international business is at both the campuses. Uh, then you have Paris. Paris is a new campus, five years old. So you have executive MBA, marketing, international business, these kind of programs. Then you have Toulon. We have business engineering there. Associated campuses, these are our international campuses to in Africa, to in China. Uh, we don't have Indian students going there, so we won't talk about that in details. This is for students based in these countries itself. Programs in pedagogy, these are some of the most common programs I can talk about. Um, pardon me for the uh, error in, in, in the editing, but I can give you a brief idea what are the different programs. The best way is to get, go to Kedge BS website and you would be able to see all the programs. In fact, let me just simply do that. Catch business banking and finance. I hope you can see my browser. Himali, can you see my browser as well? Not just the presentation. Yes, bro. Okay, perfect. So here I can talk about all the programs because the presentation is a bit old one uh, for 2022. Now we are heading in 2023. So I'll talk about the program. These are the programs you see here. On the left-hand side, you have Masters in Management Grand Ecole. One of the best programs anybody wants to study in France. And I have a good news for all of you. First of all, MIM, what is MIM? MIM is equivalent to MBA in India. In fact, if you look at the top 100 MIM business school rankings, MBA, Indian MBA is also there. I am about Bangalore, Calcutta, Indore, Lucknow. But these are MIMs, which are the flagship programs of French business schools, and, and everybody wants to study this. Now, the problem so far was that a lot of schools needed GMAT. We also needed GMAT. But I'm very happy to announce that for 2023, we do not require GMAT for MIM program. We anyway did not require GMAT for any of our programs. Going forward, we would not require it for our MIM as well. Catch Business School. 
Uh, also happy to uh, announce that we do not require IELTS for any of our programs because all of our students study in India and English medium. So two announcements, IELTS is never required. It won't be required ahead as well, except for one program that is wine and hospitality. Please uh, inform your students if they want to study wine and hospitality at Kedge, they require IELTS and I'll tell you why. Because wine and hospitality program you see on the bottom at top, uh, on the bottom in the middle, uh, because this program is taught in collaboration with EHL Switzerland. Now EHL Switzerland requires IELTS. We don't require it. So technically we also have to require IELTS. So this is the only program for which IELTS is required. And MIM was the only program for GMAT was required, but now GMAT would not be required. IELTS would not be required except wine and hospitality. Uh, we have one program, International BBA for undergrad students, and then we have these other programs. I would not take much of your time. What you can do is you can simply click on any of the program and get more details. I can quickly show you around one favorite program of mine, which is also my uh, uh, you know, program, International Business, which I did seven years back. So uh, if you go here, you will see all the details, like it's a Master of Science degree, three different campuses. It's a full-time program. Intake is also mentioned. Then you click on curriculum. This is for your students if they want to get more information. Now, I also want to tell you something more which is not mentioned in the presentation because this is something we are going to launch for next year. So far, if anybody, I'm only talking about catch. If somebody has a four years degree, they would be eligible for M2. What is M1 and M2? I'm, I'm sure a lot of you would already know. M1 is first year of masters, M2 is second year of masters. So if somebody had a four years degree, they were eligible for M2. If somebody had a three year degree, they were eligible for M1. Now this year we launched something called June intake, which is a fast pathway. One year is always 12 months. So a lot of students complain that, you know what? I don't have a four years degree. That's why I have to study for two years. If I had a four year degree, I could have graduated in one year. So for them, we have an option. The option is called condensed track. It means you can study your first year in only four months. You would skip the internship in first year and you would do the internship in second year. So you start in June, July, August, and September. In four months, you finish your year one and in October, you join the M2 batch of the previous year. This is how you can complete your two years of program in only 16 to 18 months. This is announcement number one. Announcement number two. Going forward, and this is for 2023 only. And 2023, we have three intakes now. I'll talk about that in a bit. But right now, I'm talking about 2023 in next year. Next year, we are also going to accept students with three year degree for M2 if they have five years of work experience. I repeat, five years of work experience. So if let's say somebody has a BA or BSc or BCom and they have five years of work experience, they can apply for M2. If they have four or three, no. I know there are some schools which do accept it, but unfortunately I don't make the rules. The rules are made by the senior management. And my job is to help students and help you guys in, in uh, admissions and applications, maximizing your um, number of applications and leads as well. So. I would repeat myself again. If somebody has a four year degree, directly M2. If somebody has a three year degree, M1. If somebody has a three year degree, then they have two options M1 in September or M1 in June. And if the three year degree guys also have five years of work experience, they can again go for M2. I know this could be a lot of overwhelming information for you. So don't worry. I would prepare a beautiful email with all the information and I would share it with Himali so she can share it further with you guys. But uh, for now, so this was all about 2023. If you have any student for 2022 right now, which is going on at the moment, the last date would be July 15. We are not accepting three-year undergrad students for M2, whether they have 10 years of work experience. It's only for regular pathway. And June intake is already gone because we are already in June. So technically, if you have some students who are interested in fall 2022, the applications are open until July 15, and they can apply for either short track or long track, both of them starting in September. Now I would go back to my presentation. Just a second. Where is it? Yes. Oh, just a second. 
there we go so uh, programs i already uh, discussed s1 s2 this is not very relevant this is the course curriculum uh, again quite boring stuff this is for universities b2b i'll talk about admission process admission process is really simple uh, so you can see on the right d day d plus 5 d plus 20 what is this so i'll explain d day means let's say if somebody submits the application today d plus 5 means 5 days from now they will know if they are eligible or not 20 days from now, they would be called for Skype or Zoom or Teams interview. 25 days from now, they would get their admission result. And 30 days from now, they would have the entire contract, visa, everything details in their mailbox. So it takes 30 days end-to-end -end process. Now, what are the documents required? CV, of course. Number two, passport, of course. Number three, highest degree or diploma certificate. If students are in their final year, they can show their previous year mark sheets but a degree is required or a provisional degree is required. Their transcript, transcript is the same thing as degree on mark sheet. ILDS, I already mentioned, it's only required for people who want to apply for hospitality program or if they studied in a uh, medium other than English. And then a school certificate, again, the same thing that uh, this is only for people who are already enrolled in an institution that they are still studying, they'll be graduating next year. So the mandatory documents would be CV, passport. Um, if they don't have a passport, they can still apply with Aadhaar card or any other ID, but they would need to write an essay. Okay, uh, why do they want to study at CAGE? Why do they want to study in France? Then they can also write a scholarship essay. Why do they deserve a scholarship? And I'll talk about scholarship in a bit. And then they would be supposed to submit an application fees of 120 euros to complete their application. All the, stu all the students coming from JIC and associates do not need to pay an application fees for 2022. So if they have, if you have any candidate, please feel free to connect, um, uh, you know, um, ask Himali to share it with us and we would waive off the application fees for your students and they would directly go to the interview stage. Now, I was talking about scholarship. So we have three scholarships. First one is called Early Bird. If anybody applies before February of any year, for example, 2023 or 2024, February is the last month. If they, if they apply before February, they already get 10% discount. So let's say if the tuition fees is 15 lakhs, they would get 1.5 lakh off. Then we have two other scholarships, Excellence, Achievement, Academic. The maximum scholarship possible is 4,000 euros. They simply have to write an essay and we would check their marks. We would check their extracurricular activities. We would check their essay. And after the interview, they would be granted a scholarship. 80% of our students who went to CAGE in 2021 received some form of scholarship. So chances are high that your students would also be benefit, uh, would also be benefiting from certain form of scholarship on top of application fees. Uh, some figures regarding employability, 95% students at CAGE find a job within four months of graduation. We help them in experiential learning. We help them in internships, work experience. Uh, we all know that uh, jobs are not guaranteed outside India. We still have a placements rate of 95% because first of all, we help them in their um, uh, profile. We help them in internships, work experience, CV, resume building, networking. We also help them in learning French free of cost. We have the largest alumni network in France. So we also help them in alumni jobs uh, across the globe. As I already mentioned, those who are not interested in jobs can also go for incubator, 120 projects every year, 10 startups, 50 million euros in funding. Some of the rankings of Kedge Business School, 34th best business school in Europe, top 10 in France, and a triple accredited business school. This is the latest ranking of Financial Times. You can see here, uh, for executive education, Kedge Business School was ranked 38th in the world. And this was published two weeks back. Some key figures about Catch Business School. Uh, the average salaries are around 42,800 euros. So students would be earning this much of salary. Again, this is the average salary. Higher or lower can be different. Uh, I knew a student who uh, uh, got a job of 36,000 euros last year. And then there was a student who got salary of 59,000 euros in Luxembourg. So salaries differ. 100% students work in international positions. 80% join large companies. 20% join startups and the uh, rest of the figures are in front of you. Um, Kedge is ranked world five uh, for uh, uh, you know different programs. For example, Kedge is the only uh, school I can probably brag about where all the programs are ranked amongst the top 100 by Ed Universal. For example, supply chain is ranked number five. Um, purchasing is ranked number one. Uh, 
International uh, business is ranked 41, and all of these rankings are asked for Ed Universal, Times, Financial Times, and QS. So I think this is the end of the presentation. I don't have anything else to add. I think I've spoken about everything. If you have any questions, we can go ahead and take the questions now. Uh, Raj, thank you so much for the presentation. And it's really great news regarding the you know, wave of GMAT for MM program and also the starting of June intake, which is you know fast track program. So it's definitely yeah. a good benefit to promote for you know coming here in 2023. Okay. And right. even you can inform them about the you know um, scholarships, not scholarships, I can say about the internships, internship opportunities, then uh, you know scholarship opportunities each and everything you can inform them and even the initial deposit what they need to pay once they get the offer letter and about the yeah. housing as well on campus or off campus accommodation okay so uh, thank you Emali. the first question i would take is regarding um, um, what is scholarship so for a scholarship i think i have already explained i would repeat myself again we have three scholarships first one is the early bird 10% if they apply before February, any student applies before February. We are also contemplating right now January intake early bird scholarships. As soon as the dates are revealed, I will email Himali and Himali can share it further with you. Second and third scholarships are achievement and excellence. It's very simple. They just need to write a 300 words essay. Why do they deserve a scholarship? They can talk about their extracurricular sports, music, drama, uh, any gold medal, silver medal, anything that they believe will help them in scholarship and they would be able to get a scholarship. That's the uh, scholarship part. Now regarding housing, Kedge Business School uh, ties up with Stood Apart. Stood Apart is, is uh, a platform that has more than thousand options in Paris, Marseille, Bordeaux and Toulon, where students would be able to create their account, uh, browse just like they browse on booking.com while booking a hotel, take the, you know, check out the pictures, check out the facilities and uh, by law, French housing requires a guarantor. So Kedge also helps them in finding a guarantor for a very nominal cost with to depart. And these guys can book their accommodation online and then they would get a contract with which they apply for visa. I need to tell you that one of the very important rejection reasons for visa is housing. A lot of people think I will show a certificate of my friend, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my relatives, my uncle, aunties, and I would get a visa very easily. No. Uh, French embassy is very particular about uh, visas, especially accommodation. So I always recommend people to have a proper housing contract, proper rent receipt, because you would not be able to book an accommodation without paying certain deposit. So when you pay certain deposit, you would be getting a receipt. Please apply for visa with that. And this is why. We always recommend students to apply for proper documents. So when they apply with that, it should not be a problem. Regarding intakes, as I already mentioned, we have three intakes now, January, June, and September. I will shortly email him, Ali, about all the programs which have January intake, followed by June and September intake. Right now, September intake is open. The last date would be July 15. Please note, September intake is the only intake which is the most common intake across all the universities worldwide. And this is why at Kedge, September intake has all programs open. January will have some, some may not have January. June, again, some may not have June. But September intake is common for all the programs. And we have a program for everyone. For example, if somebody wants to study data analytics, we have that. They want to study wine, we have that. They want to study finance, we have six programs in finance. So there is no dearth of programs, uh, but I would share the details regarding uh, dates and deadlines, which uh, Himali very soon. Let me check more questions. Uh, Poonam says, how much gap is accepted? How uh, is open learning accepted? Poonam, we don't have any specific criteria of gap. If a student has a very valid reason why gap was there, we should be able to accept their application. Uh, of course, unless they have 20 years of gap, and I don't know if anyone who has 20 years of gap, one, two, five years is fine. But um, they would have a, a very valid reason for that. If, if let's say somebody has a gap of two years, they need to mention why there is a gap of two years. Were they sick? Were they traveling? Were they learning something else? Were they helping in their family business? Were they supporting their um, uh, siblings, parents, anything? So they need to accept uh, mention that. 
Your second question was, is open learning accepted? Yes, is open learning. Open learning is accepted. We have some students, two or three, who came from IGNU and NOS. As long as they have a degree which is recognized by government of India, uh, it's recognized by France government as well because French government signed an MOU with Indian government in 2018 that each other's degrees are recognized in each other's country. So if they have a degree which is recognized in India, it's recognized in France. Anant has a question, how many backlogs and how much gap is accepted? Anant, same answer. If they have a backlog, we just need a reason why they had backlogs. There is no requirement of minimum number or maximum number of backlogs. If they have 10 backlogs, it's fine. They just need to explain why they had 10 backlogs and how much gap they have. That's it. Ladison says year gap accepting for UG and PG, entry requirement for UG and PG. Um, year gap, I think Ladison, I already informed about gap. We don't have a fixed criteria. They can have as much gap as possible with the proper reasoning. And to answer your second question, entry requirement for UG and PG, uh, it's very simple. They just need to have 50%. By the way, if you have 50%, you can also apply to IIM Ahmedabad or Harvard Business School. Uh, that's the minimum to take uh, an MBA exam. But so that's that's why if they have minimum 50%, they are eligible to apply at Kedge. Uh, but uh, we recommend them to have as a uh, high score as possible because uh, the higher score they have, the more chances they have, not just for admission, but also for scholarship. So that is what I would recommend to have a higher score. Minimum is 50%. ILTS is not required for most of the programs. GMAT is not required for MIM. Apart from that, I think everybody, uh, and this, this is the same for uh, UG as well. They need to have 50% in class 12. For PG, they need to have 50% in their undergrad. And all of these students can be in their final year and at the same time, they can apply to catch. I think this is it. Let me check if we have more questions in q and In Q&A, I think we have two more questions from Abhin. Abhin says, can you please explain in detail about the better stay back options compared to UK or US? Absolutely, Abhin. The thing is, uh, in US, they categorize STEM and non-STEM. If you have a STEM background, science, technology, engineering, math, they give you three years. If you have a non-STEM background, they give you one year of stay back visa. In France, they don't have such a differentiation or I would say discrimination. Whether you are a science graduate or a business graduate or a film graduate, you get the same stay back visa. That is one beautiful thing about studying in France. Number two, about UK. Uh, the stay back visa in UK is two years, but that's also the work permit. You will be getting the work permit for two years. After that, you need to ask your employer to sponsor your visa. But in France, the beautiful thing is, uh, stay back visa is two years, but work permit is up to four years. Now, what is the difference between stay back visa and work permit? Stay back visa is a visa that allows you to stay back and find a job. For example, if let's say Abhin and Prayag both are going to uh, UK uh, or let's say France, Abhin gets a job, Prayag is looking for a job. So Abhin gets a job, so Abhin would apply for work permit, which is for years. Prayag is still looking for a job, so Prayag would apply for a stay back visa. That's the difference. So this is why France is better because in UK, you only get two years. In France, you get two or four. If you have a job, you can apply for four. If you don't have a job, you can still apply for two and then apply for four later whenever you get the job. There's one more thing called European blue card. That's based on salaries, which I didn't talk about. Nobody asked about it either. If you have 54,000 euros of salary in France, you can directly apply for 10 years blue card. And all of these visas are also for your spouse. <clears throat> uh, Abhin has one more question. Please brief about the employability of students graduated from Kedge. Abhin, I think I already spoke about it. So we have 95% of uh, student placements within six months of graduation. There are certain programs where there is 100% graduation even before convocation. For example, supply chain. Supply chain at Kedge is ranked number five worldwide. Um, uh, supply chain has 100% placements even before graduation. There were nine Indian students at Kedge in supply chain. I was talking to them last week. All of them have the jobs. Uh, some of them have in Netherlands, some in Belgium. But again, employability depends on multiple factors. It's like going to Kerala and not speaking Malayalam. So if you don't, I mean, if, if, if I as a student go to France and I don't want to learn French, then it would be tough. It is not impossible to find a job, but it would be tough. I'll explain how. So let's say if Amul wants to hire somebody to sell milk to Gujarati people in Gujarat, they would not hire somebody who speaks Chinese. They would hire somebody who speaks Gujarati. Similarly, if Renault wants to hire or Ford wants to hire somebody in Paris who want to sell their, their products to French people, they would expect you to speak French. But if you're going for an international job, let's say Ford Paris wants to hire somebody for Germany or India or China, then they would hire English. 
so there are a lot of english jobs as well but to boost employability chances we teach french free of cost to all of our students and we also recommend students to learn basic french from india because um, let's say if students are going in september they still have 3 months if students are going next year they still have 15 months and if, even if they're learning one hour every day it should be a lot so to boost employability chances we recommend learning french we also help them in learning french and then we help them in networking internships we invite more than 200 companies on our campuses every year so all these big companies you know of google mckinsey yahoo even french air force french military they come to our campuses every year but obviously they are looking for best profile so who is the best profile the best and the good profiles would be the profiles who speak the language know about their culture at the same time know about the programs as well so that's how you boost employability chances and i think that's true for all the schools not just for kej all french schools require people who have a very good skill of communication uh, i think i answered most of the questions himali if i have any questions pending please let me know uh, sure i think you are given all the information so i think uh, you know each of the queries has already been solved uh one okay thing, you can inform that you know is there any age limit for bachelor's applications um there is no specific age limit but obviously if somebody is 28 or 29 we would need a a, a reason uh, sop uh, an essay from them why they waited so long for that uh but uh, the ideal age would be around anywhere under 25 is ideal under 25 we don't need any reasoning but more than 25 years of age for undergrad we need a proper reasoning okay perfect and can you tell them a little bit about the internship opportunities uh yes yes sure so i already mentioned uh, just just give me one second just one second sorry so regarding internship opportunities yes as i already mentioned more than 200 companies visit our campuses every year um so these companies they recruit students for internships directly from the campus students can also find internships on their own um uh, internships are mandatory at kej you cannot graduate without internship and almost 100% students find internship i don't know of anyone who has not found an internship in the past many years now um, internships are paid by law in france minimum salaries around 590 euros something average salaries at kej for internships are around 1000 to 1500 euros so i was talking to a girl from delhi and she's working in marseille she's earning 1500 euros per month which is like uh, 1.2 1.3 lakhs per month so that's the that's about internship uh, and internships in Uh, Greg, you are not audible. Hello. 